When I was a child, my grandmother told me that in her day, when people went looking to buy a farm or a ranch, the first thing they looked at was the barn. For farmers like my grandparents, a good barn was much more important than a nice house. This is a wordy barn, and it has been an important part of Sierra Valley for well over 100 years. The barn is named after the Wordy family, who owned the land before Alfred and Josephine Roberti purchased it in 1924. My name is Rick Roberti, and I am their grandson. Along with my parents, brothers, and our families, we are privileged to ranch on the land that surrounds the Wardy barn. I often think if this old barn could talk, what stories it could tell of the people from at least six generations who have come and gone. From the dairy cows to the beef cows, from pitchforks and wagons to trucks and hay squeezes, from bib overalls to shorts, this old barn has seen it all. This grand old barn has been home for birds, rabbits, horses, skunks, cats, and lots of cows and calves. Though the outside walls show their age, and a tin roof has replaced the old shingles, the barn's views haven't changed a whole lot over time. Looking west, it has a clear view of Beckworth Peak and the Sierra Nevada Mountains. The north end of the barn stares at a huge pile of old baling wire. It's a reminder of past hay seasons and hundreds of hot summer days. To the east, you see the meadows that have produced the hay and forage for livestock long before the barn was built. Irrigating, haying, grazing, and wintertime feeding. As the barn remembers, that has pretty much been the routine for years. And due south of the barn, there are fields that are still native pastures. Other fields are being farmed, and there are also fields that were once plowed that have returned to the original state. The hard-working people who have settled this valley are gone now, but they're replaced by more good people taking care of the land. All in all, Sierra Valley hasn't changed that much over time, and though we complain about the cold east wind, the lack of moisture, or that hard frost in June or July, we know we've been truly blessed to live in this unique place. And it's my desire, along with many other landowners, farmers, and ranchers, to leave this land in good shape for generations to come. One thing we can do on our ranch is to improve and preserve the wetlands and riparian areas we have, and to try and establish new ones. With help from our County Extension Service and the NRCS, we have been able to improve our streams, enhance existing ponds, and create new wetlands. Close to 20 years ago, we fenced off an irrigation pond. We planted several trees and shrubs. We also brought in a dump truck load of tulies, and then time and nature did the rest. This is what it looks like today. This past summer, we fenced off another larger pond and wetland area. It will be exciting to see what time and a little work can do to make this wetland area even better. Another project under construction is a 17-acre wildlife preserve. When it's completed, it should be roughly 10 acres of open water with several nesting islands and coves. One of the goals of this project is to create an area that will give ducks a place to raise their hatch in a safe environment all summer long. The Roberti family is dedicated to Sierra Valley and to taking care of the land. The Wordy Barn stands as a reminder of six generations who have made a living off this land. And Lord willing, the barn will witness many more years of good stewardship in this beautiful high desert valley of California.